Okay, I'll try the worm hole. <laughs> 500 plus? Oh, okay. I was gonna say that... Can't imagine getting to day 500 right now. Where the hell? Okay. Wow, I'm way down there now. I was going to, I was looking all over, but I wanted to um, build my science machine near it, so... Maxwell's door. What the hell is that? I have not encountered that yet. Should I click on it? That seems like bad news. Oh, it's the adventure mode. I was reading about this adventure mode. Then you find that other character when you're playing it on, like, World 6. Oh gosh. I'll do it, but it, I've been planning on preparing for this before I tried. This is adventure mode. That's true. Gosh, that's funny. This place where I'm like finding everything except Beefalo. <laughs> More challenging. Game's already pretty challenging. Oh, does that is that bad? <laughs> Pick divining rod holder. I have no idea what that is. And those guys look like bad news. I'm gonna stay well away from them as long as I can. Daytime, um, 4.24 at present. I was gonna have you specify, but it was true in both cases, so...
we're representing a bunch of different time zones. Uh, I am surrounded by this friggin' swamp. I guess that's part of the challenge. I'm Pacific time. I doubt that I can beat it on my first go, but I'm hoping I can for the characters. I have literally no idea. a lot of gameplay out of this one game. That's pretty awesome. Since it's not very expensive or anything. And it looks really good and it's impressive. to give my other copy to one of my friends. I didn't even realize at first. It's cute that they do that though. <laughs> it's better, but yeah, it was really, it was really crazy last night. I'm, I'm used to like not talking at all during the day pretty much, so 
to go from talking a lot and also splitting my focus and getting used to this whole new system and trying to not die or starve. It was, it was a lot. I think I even like dreamt about it. So then I didn't even sleep well because it was like I was just dreaming about what I did during the day. Gosh. I do not feel good about this. No, don't hit me. Those things are gonna be all over, which I guess is kind of the point. I'm not happy about it. I will take those reeds. type, any athletic ability and start to do yoga. You don't have to be flexible at all. Everything that you do is genuinely modifiable. So it's, yeah. It's like one of my favorite things in the world. Especially if you spend a lot of time on the computer. You really need to like balance that out with some serious not. Yeah, you can. You can learn it off of YouTube. That was how I first started. You, there are at least enough, uh... Yeah, yes, yoga is right for you. You don't have- I've never actually been to a class before. And I've been doing it for, I guess, like a year and a half now. There are a whole bunch of ways for you to learn yoga and have it part of your daily life without actually ever going to a class, or even paying for it if you don't want to. Um, I don't usually. I usually meditate before bed to try and- it really helps me sleep better. But I don't have the patience to do it as often as I should. But, um, I keep intending to. I'm sure I will at some point and it will be good for me, but for now, I'm happy with its place in my current life. <laughs> Take this place over Swampland. Yeah, and go. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I think that uh, it has a bad rap, but it's really more accessible. I think that's one of the things people don't realize about yoga and meditation is how accessible they are and how you don't have to be a specific type of person in order to derive benefits from them. It's pretty amazing all the things you can learn on YouTube. Although I wanted to learn um, transcendental meditation because uh, I read David Lynch's book on it super wanted to try it out, but like literally the only way to officially learn that is through a, a certified person and it's like hundreds of dollars, so I never did that. Oh shit, the dogs. Bad timing. Shit, shit. Um, no, those are evil flowers. Oh shit, just... Leave me alone. I don't know why those keep running to me and then running away, but I will not complain. That's really weird. That's the only time this ever happened. 
Oh my god, I don't want to press my luck, but that is really cool. That's really strange. I wonder if it's the ring thing I have or something? Oh. If they're glitching, that's fine with me. Whatever keeps them off my ass. Yeah, I've never seen them do that before. The only thing I could possibly think is I picked up uh, the ring thing from in the center of those evil flowers. Maybe that has some kind of effect on them. But regardless, I'll take it. I hope I'm playing on Steam. aren't attacking me for some reason, but I would love it if they would come kill the spiders. Those have to be glitched, that's so weird. Shit, shit, I need to feed that fire. Oh god, this is bad. Damn it. If it hadn't been for those spiders. Can I try it again? Oh, cool. I will try again. That had to be glitched. So that was really weird. And there was like a flash. Um, that I kept seeing, and I don't think it was insanity. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> that was, it's because it was, um, adventure mode. So it spawns you back at that door. But this is gonna be really shitty. <laughs> Winter. Shit, I'm freezing. How? Oh, I can build a campfire. That's so weird. This mode is crazy. Everybody's been really nice. I was worried that it would kind of be like, uh, you know, the typical like Xbox Live people just like swearing and being mean. Um, <laughs> yeah, forever and ever and ever. I'm gonna stream forever now. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun. And it's definitely helped me play this game, that's for sure. 
have learned <laughs> way more than I would have uh, by myself. Although I could just read the wiki, but that's not quite as fun. <laughs> I love playing games on Xbox, but I can't imagine. No. I'm sure there are. There was one guy in the last that was like kind of rude, but not even really, so I kind of just ignored him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I completely avoid that, and I can't stand it. That's probably one of the reasons that I don't like PvP or multiplayer that much. I still haven't done anything with bees. I killed one once for a stinger, and that's it. like a bad idea. Are you trying to get me killed? Yeah, I've seen some like honey salve or something, but I haven't experimented with it at all. <laughs> Is that honestly how it works? Oh, what? I got a heat stone? Are you kidding me? When did I get that? Oh, cool. That's awesome. I have a heat stone. I did not realize. It uh, keeps you warm, so you uh, keep it like uh, in your back in your inventory, and it keeps you warm farther during the winter. I I mean I'm using it right now by virtue of just having it on me. You can tell because it uh, heats up orange. That's when it's like at full power. Yeah. built um, a piece of stone wall, but it was so tiny that I was like, there's no way this is going to be worth it to actually make a structure. And then somebody said that uh, like spiders just kept wrecking the house or something, so it just seemed like a time sink that wasn't worth it. I thought it would be like in uh, Terraria or Minecraft or something where if you build a house like you're safe inside of it, but I don't even think that's how it works. So it doesn't seem worth it to get all the materials and bother building it. Signal strength low, so I need to find a signal for the mining rod, I guess that's the point of this adventure thing. Oh, yeah, I'm, I guess there are tactical ways that you could use it. That does seem smart.
Phil, you really want me to go attack that, don't you? He's freezing snow? I did not. Hmm. So you want me to risk it and just attack this friggin' hive? took a risk by coming here in the first place, but if it means that much to you... Oh my god. Are you happy now? Unfreeze, unfreeze. <laughs> god damn it. I do not need this right now. It's already friggin' snowing. I don't need angry bees. <laughs> Those guys are not gonna leave me alone, are they? Well, maybe they will. There are only two now. for that trap. because of the uh, the heat stone. That's cool. It'd be cooler if I had something to eat though. Yeah, briefly. I don't ever want to rely on it, but I'm sure it will come in handy in a pinch. Slightly. 
I just don't need more food though. I don't have enough to do during the night. There's not much for me to do. playing with him. The food thing's a big advantage. I did like playing with uh, Wendy though. I don't think I'm gonna go back. I'm just at like half health. It doesn't seem prudent. Wendy is the girl with the uh, ghost twin sister thing. I think Willow is the fire starter. I liked playing with her too though. I think she's the woman I get next, where uh, she comes with an extra tech tree, so you can make all of the stuff without the science machine. Yeah, her. Making 
foods. Hey. You can. How uh, far did you get? Nice. Oh, uh, character. I like playing as her. I'm currently in adventure mode. That's pretty, that's farther than I've ever been. Chester will, he's back in my non-adventure mode. So if I die, I will go back to the Maxwell's door and then Chester should be there. I know, I miss him. <laughs> Hello. Oh, shit, I went too far. Where the hell is my fire? Would have been a smart thing to do. God damn it. I'm just happy I didn't. Die. That was really close. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's not good. Adventure mode is no joke. <laughs> Uh, I definitely think it's worth the money, and it, it's, you can pretty much play it however much you want. It's really hard, this is my second try. The first world was like I was just surrounded by swamps and monsters and shit, and then I died. And then the second uh, attempt is like instant winter. And it's not going so well. As you can see with my 8 health. And I definitely think the game is worth 6 bucks for sure. You can get a lot out of it. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> I am not feeling terribly optimistic about it at this point. Yeah, I think I got uh, fucked up from the cold. Yeah. I'm not starving. So at least I've got that. But I will probably be dead soon. Yeah. It's no joke. Super low. I don't think there's any- oh. I can eat these petals, <laughs> which did basically nothing. He's programmed to, obviously. Gotta survive the night. I'm gonna find him. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, some asshole programmed him to appear. 
can do this as mine and to be hungry. It's probably that Maxwell guy. He seems like not a very nice man. I want to beat this adventure mode so I can get him as a playable character, though. I don't think that's going to happen. But that would be awesome. Yeah, there's... I believe so. I, I didn't read that much on the wiki, but I think if you beat adventure mode, you get, uh, well, Waxwell. So not technically Maxwell, but it's basically him. Um, and then in World 6, the, you find this, like, statue of this mime and you like release him or something yeah they had to stay with like the w naming convention so it's like technically the maxwell guy but with a different name so there's two characters at present that you can get from adventure mode <laughs> Yeah, I just randomly found the door, Wax or Maxwell's door, and went inside. And if you die in adventure mode, you just go back to um, uh, your previous game by the door. So it's not that bad of a deal. right now. Um, I've got this, I have Team Fortress 2, I've got um, Dream 2, I have Terraria. Um, I have Bastion. I have like a handful of games. I haven't played that much. My P actual PC is only like, I've had it for like a week or something. So, I'm still not messing with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bad at Terraria right now. I think I'll enjoy it more, I like this game, once I get the hang of it I'll enjoy it, but right now I just kept dying, it was pissing me off, and then I was like having trouble building a door. You can build a house, you better build a house in Terraria, unless you like being attacked by zombies. You can build a house in this game, kind of. There's a... You can build like walls and all of that. You can even build like a cobblestone thing. So practically. But without... You can build a house without the main benefits of a house. either of those or heard anything about them. I like the concept, the survival zombie game. Sounds cool. It'd sound cooler if I had some more food. It's always cool seeing the game's development. It makes you wonder, um, I've not heard of Amnesia. Hmm. 
what kind of game is Amnesia? <laughs> okay, what kind of game is it? I haven't even heard of it. Well, I will definitely look it up tonight. <laughs> oh. Uh, I was on the fence about your Esther. I never ended up buying it or anything, but I almost did. Is it just tense or is it like startles? <laughs> Thank you for your spoil checking. <laughs> okay. Well, I will look it up for sure. Is it recent, I guess? That's- I haven't heard of it at all. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm not good at Team Fortress 2. I pretty much just do, uh, the pyro and just do spy checks the whole time. Hmm. Okay, that's not that old. Is it on Steam? I'm pretty bad at the pyro, but it's... Okay, cool. I'll look it up. Not combat sounds fun. I have not done that. I've been really not adventurous with Team Fortress 2. I've pretty much just stuck to, like, what I know. Because otherwise I'm super shitty. I'm drinking roasted barley tea, which is now cold. It's pretty good. It's actually, I've tried not to drink um, caffeine, although I do sometimes, but it's a really good co coffee replacement. It has like a nice strong kind of coffee taste when you have almond milk with it. I like it a lot. Mm-mm, just, uh, Almond milk. Come on, day five. I'm surprised that I've lasted this long. Especially after the bee incident. <sighs> oh god. I have- I- That's new to me. <laughs> that's probably what's gonna happen next. <laughs> I die with like any monster in this game, so I can't imagine like playing a boss. That sounds like suicide. Oh shit, I need to 
build this right now. Let's hope I don't meet that guy. I do not need to meet him right now. Gotcha. Don't worry about that. That will be my prime directive. Although then I'll just end up freezing. Yeah, sometimes I get frustrated with how difficult it is, or how difficult it can be. But I think it would probably get pretty boring if it weren't the case. Oh, that sounds kind of relaxing. Well, it's nice that you can uh, change the world. I, I don't know about adventure mode, but in the regular mode you can uh, adjust the difficulty quite a bit in terms of, uh, you know, what, how many monsters there are going to be and of which type, and you can make there be more food, and that kind of thing. They even, I saw today, they made it so you can change the duration of the season. So if you really want to make things easy for yourself, you can just have winter be like super short and that kind of thing. I, I understand that inclination, but I, I don't, I don't care anymore. Like, I, I don't enjoy getting super frustrated with games. I understand like the feeling of satisfaction with overcoming stuff, but in the end, I, I don't like things to be a huge struggle, I'd rather just have fun. <clears throat> yeah, I did. Well, it updated automatically. So far I'm not seeing any huge differences except for the uh, option differences. And I did see my winter hat had a duration. do. Oh, nice. That would be extremely useful. <laughs> volcano stuff. Of course there's volcano stuff in this game. believe like that anything would happen in this game which I guess is a really big compliment like that's quite an achievement that they could do anything and I'd be like yep that sounds right oh cool so you can start being chased by ghosts even quicker
there's got to be a place I have got to go. I just don't know where yet. Yeah, this thing, the divining rod. Oh, to find items? It's always been a low signal strength. Is there something else I need to do with it? Shit, I should have had that equipped this whole time. Okay, that makes a lot more sense than just walking around blindly. I am silly. Silly me. Well, day six, I'm gonna get it done. That's for sure. Or die. <laughs> damage me. That's all I was worried about. I'm still hoping that that doesn't matter because I don't want to find out who this guy is. <laughs> it, look, I'll be really happy if that happens. I'm certainly not counting on it. Uh, but I don't know how I would uh, handle that. I don't even know what I would do. <laughs> If you say so. I mean, I haven't been on here that long, so I don't know how it works very well, but... Um, is this a good place for this trap? Hopefully. Yeah, that's where... Uh, That's where the blueprints and stuff are around. Oh my god, it worked! The first time. Okay, what do I need to do for this trap? Do I just... Do I awesome! Cook that shit. Oh, <laughs> thank you, I hope you're right.
<laughs> I don't do it in real life, so I'm allowed to do it in video games. I'm with you there. I'm not a fan. I'm I'm surprised that I've lasted this long so far, but as you can see my I'm pretty damn hungry. <laughs> so that's not a good thing. Should make more traps. But I can't. <laughs> yeah, it hatched today. Get that confused. I think they're doing the final release and then they'll probably keep adding characters, I would guess. Idea. It also creates some buzz about the game, as long as the game is good, so people know. Oh, cool. Pretty much all gonna be new to me. That is my divining rod. I assume you're talking about? No. It's, um, I think it's because I'm playing in adventure mode. So, oh shit. So it's apparently going to tell me like where to go for items and stuff, but so far it hasn't. I just randomly happened upon the door and I'm, it's probably not a good idea because I've only made it to day 23, but I couldn't resist trying. Yeah, I thought you could. Like, I'd never really messed around with it, so I didn't realize it, it was something you found actually in the game. Yeah, you find uh, Maxwell's door. That is a bee mine. I haven't had to use it yet, and I'm hoping I won't. But I have it, if need be.
Uh, well, my setup's better today, or better now. Yesterday I had um, the chat going on on my laptop to the left of me, so now I just have it small and- oh shit. Oh god damn it. Um, so my multitasking is going better, but as you can- god damn it, I don't have enough- I'm gonna die. Um, uh, this is a pretty good illustration of how my multitasking is going. It's it's better, but it's not great. <laughs> yeah. Well, I made it to day seven, and I'm.